And yeah, it's, so it's, it's switch some gears. Like, what it's like to be at the World Champs on the side of the track. Okay. Do you know what? This isn't really a uh, follow up for the race because it's act. There's actually too much information to properly deal with right now isn't there you know like in terms of results and stuff like no, that but I mean it's the better results, for us to just the results tell results on the internet yeah it's true watch the broadcast okay, so, so it's what happened that they didn't see okay so i'm here as a super fan and i'm very lucky to have insight which is it's like it's like i'm on a vip world cup experience it's been like that all my life when you were racing i got to come into your pits and talk to you about your run and then when i watched the race I've got a horse in the race, haven't I? Like Needles is racing down. Yeah, and really Brendan as well. I mean, yeah, you've been and, and like all, all of my friends that have raced over the years. It's always made racing like just. It's like I've got the um, what's the button where you go interactive red. You know what I mean? Producers laughing. I don't know where we're going with this. You know this. what I mean? So so it's it's like I'm at a World Cup. Yeah, sure, like everyone else. But then I can go, I can click red. I can go interactive. <laughs> and I can be like Needles. What you changed since practice? And then. So I've always yeah, had I'm going to tell you, right? I'm like, yeah, well, I don't even sick. care. Who I've you. always had in, like yeah. this. Uh, it's it's super fun. This one was different. I I uh, yesterday I was ri- I was uh, riding. Didn't get much of a chance to hang out during quali. Bernie's racing. Bernie's on on form, and then he qualifies third. And I'm like, honestly, I've never been worried to go in the pits or whatever. But I just didn't want to fuck it up. I didn't want to like ruin it. And I did. I did think it. When you were racing and when Brendan's racing, I do think about not saying the wrong thing, not getting in anyone's head because obviously you're receptive to the people around you the most, aren't you? And dude, if I just say, fuck me, needles, the the, uh, roots before the road gap, oh my days, man, they're slippery. The thought that my voice might come into your head on your race run, probably that's, that's egotistical that I would think that you would even think that. But I do think I don't think things, it's egotistic. I think it's you know what I mean? fair, like thought process. I just don't want to like fuck. I don't. I don't want to mess it up. And like when you see a friend who's like, he's qualified third at World Champs, and he's already on a on a bit of a, you know, he's on a high. He's peaking. I feel like I just did. I yeah, it's weird. Someone that I'm super comfortable with. I didn't want to mess it up. I didn't want to like <laughs> ruin the process or like. It sounds you know, stupid. Oh, you know, bad. I I li- I just. I'm the same, even now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I'm like, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> Literally. Dude, you don't want to say have it wrong, fun, do you? You don't want to mess it. Because yeah. that's what I need it. Keep Is it, it light, yeah. have fun. So I said, <laughs> just have it's fun. It's interesting, yeah. That's what that's what I feel like. You, you and Bren got on really well, get on really well. But, but when you were racing, I feel like you two instantly hit it off because i think you had you wanted like a light-hearted environment yeah whereas that, actually i don't don't necessarily think bernard's the same bernard needs loads of shit going on the whole yeah, time yeah, he exactly. needs to be busy well, you, you've hit but the it's nail not on the necessarily head. light-hearted no it's, no no. you've hit the nail on the head yeah every personality is different but uh yeah we're giving ourselves too much credit because these guys are at the top of the game because of controlling the inputs yeah you know so i've i mean yeah i do say have fun or whatever good luck but you know what dude like if they ask us questions or they ask about lines and they want all this information, it's up to them to decide what to use, you know? Um, and I think I think people like having friends around and things like that. It normalizes take the edge off as well. Yeah, but I think it's different when it, when you have like a just a, a friendship with someone and there's nothing professional about there's no like you know, when you're asking um someone about their quality run, obviously you're doing the commentary, so it's, you know, you're not hiding it. You're interested for the purpose of the commentary, right? Yeah. Whereas when I talk about the routes before the road gap, I'm just going to use an example again. It's coming from a friend point of view. So it's a different angle. It's like, it like gets in. That's that's why I feel concerned about my input to any of these situations. I want it to just be lighthearted and just carry on as normal. But then equally normally I'd talk about how slippy the roots are man <laughs> you know well, what of I mean? course at home yeah. yeah oh that jumps bucky isn't it and then you <laughs> yeah. just imagine your mate like red lining so tired arm pump coming into the jump thinking oh he said it was bucky breaking messing up losing the world champs <laughs> I don't know uh, it it was, so it was in, intense yeah, so, so talk us through the day then so my day started outside of the venue um went on an epic mission on my Ebe. It was really good. You do so really the, love biking. I love I biking, it. dude. I love biking. I've had an e-bike up here for the first time. I've done more riding than I've ever done at Fort William. 
because I've had my Eid with me. Yeah, no, thanks for being on time for dinner. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, we were out. Don't lot, don't like, make plans. For, don't make plans yeah, for sorry. dinner with Ollie. He will be biking till but nine thirty like, yeah, p.m. I think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but if you told me you were still biking, I'd be like hyped for you. No, you I know, think it's I awesome. Know. Yeah, but we've we've done some good laps. Anyway, I did I did this epic mission in the morning with Deeks. He got puncture. That was the cherry on the top of the cake for the good. Did ride he have for to me. walk home? He was so mad at me for his puncture. Where's the video? So mad. Mad um, at you for his puncture. He was mad at me for his puncture. What did you do? I was like trying to get him to no, like, in try his sections. Mind. What? He's blaming you for... He just got mad at me because it was like, he was like, oh, I told you if I... He just got... <laughs> 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 He's like, I told you I was going to puncture. I hate this stuff. Anyway, whatever. We turn up at the, uh, at the Brilliant. pits. And uh, sort of walk around, try not to infiltrate any of my friend's minds with any bad <laughs> With how, with how much rain you think is going to pour yeah, down. Yeah, any root stories, any, right, are any you element using, of doubt in Are you using abilities. tear-offs or roll-offs? <laughs> are you using <laughs> spikes or... Mate, hey. are you going to use 75 PSI Dude, or 85? Dude, you're doing jokes, but it's literally exactly what I worry about talking about. Have you made any bike changes? And you're like, shit, now he's going to think about it. Why changes. did I ask but, him that? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ask anything but that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you do that. Uh, yeah, so I, I sort of walk around a bit lame meeting loads of people which is wicked loads of people f that listen to podcasts there's so many cool bike fans so many so many friendly faces in mountain biking wicked anyway then Fort I William is a hill. really good event for that oh like, best, all the yeah. marshals are so awesome and friendly they're yeah. literally volunteering to stand in a bog and get bitten by midges or the a Scottish rain. bog. yeah exactly yeah props all to day. the marshals and yeah. all the volunteers actually everyone involved yeah anyone who has to stand in midges Holding a camera, holding a whistle, holding a flag, whatever you're doing. Mm. That's hard work, that is. Isn't it? Big, you know, I, no, I mean, mad respect. Like, it's real, it, it, the midges, you so, they sort of always come out, whenever you talk about them, it comes out like a joke. It's it's really no joke. It's really not fun. It's really unbearable. No, I appreciate have being at Fort William, but I hate midges. Have you experienced midges? What are you so this, talking this year, about? This year. Yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. I didn't know if you'd been up the hill or if you'd like stood there. When you when you stand there this year, it's been really bad. No, I feel pathetic that I worry about these little things. But Me too. They're really annoying. You, it, but it's more than annoying. It's overwhelming. I think. Oh, my nose is itchy. Maybe it's a midgy. Dude, it does exactly the same to me. I feel like it's in my. I feel like they're in my hair. In my. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!